Ah uh, yes, welcome back to the channel. A man and his a man and his projects. Actually you gotta be careful when you careful when you stick your fingers in here because sometimes there could be a hidden wasp nest. That's happened a few times before. Aluminum? No sticky stick. Ooh. Sticky sticky all the way except for here. Ah, I missed me opportunity of making a interesting video finding those doors in somebody's driveway. You That kind of tree right there, where my uh, Chrysler parked at the compound, I found those little seeds, those little seeds like that under the hood, and the mouses or something also decided to eat all of the wiring under the hood. All of it. I mean, it's nibbled all the way down to the sensor. The only wiring they didn't, the only wiring they didn't eat was uh, the wiring going to the battery. Let's see if we can find anything good in here. Huh. Never used. You're a hoarder. Queen of Shoes must be a Meldrum Marcos. Does anybody ever remember that person? <clears throat> I always thought that American uh, politicians were weird. That's really weird. Helium. Oh, helium. Helium. <laughs> <clears throat> Are these like the toys from Imagine Dragons? Put the camera down and carry 40 things at once. We could do that or not. <clears throat> yeah, that's tangle steel, according to Pallet Man. So I think. Uh, I'd rather avoid, ooh, chemicals. Oh. Dex Merck. <laughs> You're a hoarder. You betcha. Well, I guess this makes for an interesting video. What the heck is this thing? Minnow bucket. <laughs> Had no idea. Haven't you ever been fishing? Did you ever take your son fishing? Nope. You mean you didn't take your great son fishing? No. Playing with Tonka toys, though. All right, in this edition, <laughs> be, be the hero that the garbage man isn't. So apparently this 
item is too, I don't know. We'll find out. It's too something. Whatever the heck this thing is. I'm not much of a consumer. I don't, feels homemade, whatever it is, because it's... Very, uh... Very ironclad. That's really sad what happened to... Uh, Mike, Mikey's dog. Poor guy. Feel bad for him. And the fam. I don't really like saying it'll be better. No, not really. Well, who wants to be a Debbie Downer? Not me. I'm just saying that a lot of people say, like, when something really sad happens or bad, they say it'll be better. <laughs> I know. It is hard to figure out what to say when somebody loses something that they love. In this case, his dog died that he got from his wife's mama. Okay. I had a dog and it didn't die, it got stolen. So let's just say right here, this is, what's the excuse? Everybody's got an excuse, right? We see cycle bowls because items not included. Ah, it's too big, okay. <laughs> and the trash man's too lazy to peel the sticker off. Whatever. Who cares? It's mine now. For a little while. It's it's not mine forever. Clean all that junk off your dashboard. <laughs> it's not mine forever. I'm gonna trade it when I go across the scale for some cash. And the cash won't be mine forever. Because I'll end up trading the cash for a bill, like fuel, or something else, right? So, everything pretty much is just for temporary. Not to make light of the dog passing or stuff like that, but it's ours for just a little while. We're only uh, temporary custodians. Yeah, my dog got stolen. It was uh, not quite even four years old. Somebody grabbed him. Got to hold things tight. Scoops. Oh, yeah, you can see that right through that dirty windshield and all the sun. <laughs> King, clean your windshield. Ever notice how, like, a lot of the comments have to do with cleaning something. Well, what we have here is a mower, people. <laughs> Can't you tell? Oh, yeah. It has a Joliet repair. They won't take it anyway. The garbage man has got gas on it. I know what's wrong with it. It ain't got no gas in it. She's a runner. She's a runner.